All right, y'all. So the title of this video is Deara, Ex Deara Taylor Exposed by New Boo Ex-Girl. Neek this king. It's a lot going on, y'all. Uh, y'all already know it is um Bagtober. So y'all already know it's it's get it's about to get crazy. So yeah, just pull up. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, league? So, <sighs> I also have people in my comments about this, you know, basically saying the era is not a lesbian, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I said alleged. I said alleged. I don't know. I don't know if she talked to that girl or not, but it looked like it. But I said alleged. I'm just saying. Anyway, we about to get into this video. I already read the title. Let's get it. Post. Oh, make sure y'all follow me on Twitch at Royalties World CEO. Yeah, dick. So you've heard alleged boo Jazz a lot lately now that her and Kid is done for good. Remember I told y'all when Jazz and Diara first got together, Jazz actually had a girlfriend and she's been throwing a lot of subliminals here okay, and there, but she revealed good. yesterday. I got YouTube coming soon and I'm dropping all the motherfucking tea. I'm on my YouTube channel that I'm on. All right. Well, I already started it, so I don't know when I'm gonna post it. What should I post? Girl, Link? now. I'm talking about exclusive. All the tea. Everything everybody been wanting to know. Coming soon. Got to tune in. Coming yes. to an end. The people. Girl, it ain't coming to an end. It's gonna be just getting started. <laughs> want to see and they want to know but let's talk about Corey, dc and molly because yesterday <laughs> molly and dc posted up a tiktok now oh. i see why Corey and dc haven't been around each other lately because dc is busy smashing his ex you shut up some people might believe me but some might but ever since i lost all my social media my phone and nobody tried really helped me or nothing you can't even talk. Doing this myself and help with flash, flash zop. We patient, we ain't worried. You shouldn't have crossed Corey, you dumbass. This is the problem. The people that put y'all on, y'all decide to cross. Unless you just popping, popping. Like for real. Unless you just popping. Okay. That'll be the worst mistake you ever made in your life. Stop biting the hand that feeds y'all. I don't know where y'all niggas was raised at. I'm starting to become like the music industry, really like a know. very small world. But here's their TikTok. I love you. This is what I need to say to you. You look so beautiful. I want to have it with you. All right? Now. The crazy thing is, I can't even say is DC wrong for smashing his friend's ex because I don't even think they're friends anymore. But is there still a cold? Even though you're not friends with Corey, are you still allowed to smash his ex? Y'all come. Niggas, yeah. Oh my God. Niggas is lame, bro. That's just that nigga. God, I know what you're doing. This retrograde, God has been showing, okay, that people are crossing people this season. God is showing it. God is showing who your friends really are and who you don't have. Like, it's some really weird ass people out here, though. I mean, it is what it is in this situation. They not friends, but I'm just saying, out of all, like, you had to fuck with her. Like, yeah. 
down below. Let me know Ooh, your thoughts on that. Child. child. It's very messy this month. But anyway, let's talk about Chris and Leslie, another interesting couple that dropped a video called Getting to Know Chris Sales. Now, this video was more so for Leslie than us because we knew majority of the answers. Okay. But it was cute to see them together. They were flirting and laughing. Listen, I'm here for it. It is no secret that Chris likes Leslie. He has made her his woman crush Wednesday on many of occasions, which he had to stop because she did have a boyfriend. And this is why it took so long for them to collab because she was in a relationship with her ex boxer boyfriend and they recently broke up and now she's a free woman. Now in the video, she revealed that she no longer lives in New York. She lives in Florida because she moved to Florida with an ex boyfriend. Now Leslie and the ex boyfriend oh. were following each other on social media a couple of days ago. But when she dropped that TikTok with her sales, he blocked her at real quick. So I'm pretty sure they broke up, but y'all know how people break up and they think they're going to get back together with that person because they pretty much been on and off for a couple of years now, but he blocked her. So I don't think they ever getting back together. That Y'all see her hair? And I'm wrong to say that I don't like her hair. Put that shit in the fucking ponytail, man. <laughs> edges all fucked up. And I mean these edges down here. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. Uh, right. Ever since you, I pointed out her hair, you can't unsee it. Girl, you're beautiful. Get Do your hair. That's what I'm saying. Like. It might be completely I have to be hateful because I don't like her hair. Like what? That's so But crazy. we will see. Dark hair. Her hair ain't for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just an opinion. I don't like her hair. But if she was my friend, I would have told her that. Some people don't like my hair. So fucking what? <laughs> oh, <girl. laughs> Black shirt. Stop it. Just stop. <laughs> Go with your question. You That's your item going up. <laughs> Cut it. White socks. A little model on cheek. I thought that was cute. Pink nails. But now let's talk about Mr. Bacon, Neek's boo, because everybody has been asking him to do a video with her on YouTube. No. And this is what he had to say. Not at all. I don't do that YouTube shit. Period. Mr. Bacon said he ain't with that YouTube ish. So people are now trying to convince him to do a TikTok with Neek, which this is what he had to say. Not Bacon bits. I'm doing no damn TikTok. He's doing no damn TikTok. He shouldn't have to do none of that, y'all. Most people that's on the internet, i.e. myself, uh, got to get a coin. Appreciate the sub, uh, TJ. Most people got to get a coin, like me. He got his money already. He don't have to do this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have to do this shit. He don't have to do this shit, bro. If I was him, I wouldn't do it either. Hey. Around with TikTok, bro. Man. He ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> yeah, they tripping. <laughs> if he the niggas not showing <laughs> their face for me. For real. Nah, mama. Dad. Hey, get out of my face. I want you to say TikTok, shit, bro. No TikTokers. Shut up. <laughs> Making it bigger than what it is. <laughs> Ain't nobody say nothing about no damn TikTokers. <laughs> Just want to start some shit. Shut up. Right. Ooh. <laughs> the yeah. girl talking about, I'm talking about TikTokers in my girl room. I ain't say nothing about no TikTokers. I just said I'm not doing a TikTok. I don't care if people do TikTokers. Man, I'm that's bad. I don't know people about the TikTok. Girl, like, Motherfuckers always on this bitch bothering me. Oh, God. Y'all can wait to tell me that the banana crew didn't. linked up. Let me rewind just in case some of y'all don't remember what I said. Tom Stamps is down below if you want to skip ahead. I seen the comments and I'm calling for a banana crew reunion, one big final royale, and I'm calling out Chris Gilly, and I'm calling out Trey Bills, and I'm giving you 24 hours. Will it be a yay or a nay? Do you accept the challenge? If I was him, I would mind my business. I wouldn't even pay her no mind. I would do her like she did him. Cause when he was trying to find out why she stopped talking to him, she ignored him, blocked him on everything. He trying to reach out to her via Twitter, looking crazy as hell. She called him toxic. Now you want toxic back in your life? He's doing good, mind his business, he had peace. Don't let nobody disturb your peace. I gotta remember the way I move might not be how somebody else moves. It because ain't. I take loyalty and friendship very, very seriously. seriously. And certain- Very seriously. Very seriously. Loyalty and friendship I take very seriously, okay? Don't play with me. I won't play with you. You get what I'm saying? But no, nah, I wouldn't have got back up with her ass neither. 
No. You, you remember how you did me? You don't remember how you did me? I do. I remember. Let me show you some of these videos. Fucking. The things that were done to Trey in that process, I just went. Very seriously. <laughs> Very seriously. I'm not the one to play with. I treat your ass like gold. Take. But also, this is YouTube get a bag entertainment shit. It might not have to do with real life friendship or anything. This might I'm be some pants, let's get money. Boy. It is what it is. You apologize. I take it for what it is. It ain't never going to be back to what it was. Mm -hmm. But just for entertainment purposes, we can hang out. You know, I apologize for putting my own personal feelings in it. <laughs> I got to think YouTube get a bag thoughts and I'm back on that wave again. And I can see no, why he linked up with her. You know what I mean? Good footage, entertainment, views is up on Aries channel. Okay, I see y'all. But let's talk about Ty because she posted up to the people that love me. I will have to be put to sleep tomorrow due to the pains in my stomach that is unbearable. I will be taking a break to focus on my health. I love y'all and thank you for all the continuous support. And don't pray for me because I don't know what y'all praying for. Oh. I'm surprised God. I didn't see her at Pretty B's birthday party because Daisha went and I did not see her. But now I know because she's having stomach problems and now she has to be put to sleep. Now, anytime somebody has to be sedated, which is being forced to sleep through medication, it's always a risk. So I'm definitely going to pray for her. But let's talk about Queen Naja because she was dressed up for Pretty right, B's right, birthday too. party. Queen is the best happy birthday singer and she's singing the exact same way every time. <laughs> <laughs> she said it the same way every time. <laughs> I don't care who she's singing it for. She's singing it the same way. <laughs> which I thought she looked amazing, but supporters noticed that she wore the same outfit as Nikki. It was paired differently, but she wore the same outfit. Now this is the dollar amount to Nikki whole wardrobe, but I decided to do Queen's wardrobe because now this is the dollar amount to Nikki whole. Nikki whole wardrobe. Like how childish is this though? God damn, they ain't just make one dress. She be dumb as fuck. But okay, the shoe, the, excuse me. Charlotte knows orange jersey skin dress was 265. Chanel mini flat bag, Rick Owens shield and tinted glasses, seven hundred and forty dollars. We already had almost a thousand dollars. Venter wrap tie mesh sandals, nine hundred and thirty dollars. She got some expensive taste, don't she? Oh, wardrobe. But I decided to do Queen's wardrobe because, uh, yes, sis. Now, okay. Queen's dress, which is a Charlotte Nose orange jersey skin dress, is $265. Right. Her bag, which she was gifted at last year by Clarence, is $18,000. Clarence paid eighteen. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all. I knew he spent some bands, right? I knew that. I knew that. Y'all, I knew he spent bands, right? But 18,000 motherfucking dollars. 18 bands? Who child? Must be nice. Parents gift queen a Birkin bag, oh, which she child. said that she wanted. Now y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking. Until next time, peace. You know, my lash hanging off. I look crazy, but I don't care because I got a Birkin. Birkin <laughs> <laughs> my lashes look crazy. I don't care because I got a Birkin. Yes, stop playing with me. Talk to me nice. Don't call me out now. Count me in, boo. Period. And her yellow Louis pumps, yes, darling, is $795. Dollars, so you better do that, Queen. Now, even though I felt like both of them outdid themselves, some people, especially the Barb's, had some negative things to say. On, Queen Barbs. said, "Now y'all know the Barb's is gonna eat me up. Why y'all set me up? Laugh a lot. I didn't even buy this. My stylist did, so it's his fault." Then she tagged Mitchell Ford, and she said, "Look at this. Despite Nikki wearing it first, which she did an amazing job, I think Queen did an amazing job putting that she together. Did. Well, Mitchell did an amazing job putting it together for Queen, no, well, but did. Queen killed it. I like the whole she coordination. Did. I wish there was more accessories." Accessories. But y'all know Queen is not big on accessories like that. But I wish it was more accessories. That's the only thing I would have did. Earrings or a bracelet or something like that. But overall, the outfit, she did that. Y'all leave y'all comments day. down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time.
Peace. So y'all, the shade room had made a post saying, um, what's one thing you didn't know about the adult life? And I said, groceries, child, you spent $200 on groceries. That's still not enough. Nah. And somebody said, nah, you just don't know how to shop. No, you're just buying TV dinners and junk food. Fact. <laughs> when you're buying real sh the the salad, the vegetables, all the healthy stuff, then your vitamins, then like the tissue, the toilet paper. The huh, the gag is we spent about... I want to say about $900 in food a month. Probably that's $1,000. But we have children, too. Then we got ourselves. Now, first of all, let me go ahead and shout out food stamps. Uh, I don't want to leave them out of the equation. They hold up majority of this transaction. But tissue, toothpaste, pads, tampons. Remember, it's four women over here. Um, fucking, uh, what else? All that shit. That shit be about a smooth 250. I bought a big pack of tissue, the big pack of everything, big pack of Swiffer wipes for TT, the big pack of... <laughs> everything is big when I get it. We got a Costco, uh, shout out to Costco. Costco do what they supposed to do. But see, we like to eat lamb chops, you know, chicken and fucking. We stopped eating lobster tails and shrimp and shit, but we used to have that, you know what I'm saying? Had some crab legs there once in a while, you know. You got to goddamn eat what you like. But y'all spend just as much money going out to eat at McDonald's and shit. The cleaning stuff, and you trying to fill up the refrigerator and the cabinets. Big $200. Bitch, you child, you'll be gone out of that two hundred dollars in a week, and you back in the grocery store. I don't know what you're eating, okay? <laughs> but two hundred dollar grocery shopping is not enough money, sweetheart. Two hundred dollars is nothing. But um, this one we about to do. We about to end this video so we can watch my other video that I'm cussing everybody out on. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch at Royalties World CEO Twitch. All right, Royalties World CEO Twitch. Okay. Uh, I'm done with this video. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video. Peace.